I'm going to demonstrate um, creating an assessment style app uh, using randomly generated variable values. Let's assume we're wanting to uh, write an app which tests the user's ability to apply the cosine rule. So here's a triangle. I'm going to have as inputs to my app and as uh, inputs to my um, to my model uh, constraints on the, s the side length BC, and we'll constrain that to be uh, length A. I constrain it on the length AB, make that B, and we'll constrain the angle ABC um, to be theta. Now I'm going to have the app uh, randomly generate values for AB and theta. I'd like to, them to be within a certain range, and uh, as I see, there's an arbitrary range has been established for A, but I'd like that to go between a couple of whole numbers. Let's make it between 3 and 15. And for B, let's make it go from between 3 and 15 also. And for the angle theta, well, I'd like it to stay um, either acute or obtuse, and I don't want it right down to zero, so let's start that at 10 and go up to 170. So now I've got my ranges for my variables, but I would also like the variables to be um, displayed. To do that, I'm going to have to have outputs with those variables in them, so I'm going to create expressions. My first expression is just going to have it be value A, and the second expression is going to be the value B, and the third expression is going to be the value theta. And finally, I'd like to create the length AC as a measurement, and that would be the, that's basically the answer we're asking the user to come up with. So now if I export HTML5 JavaScript app, um, auto scale true, that's what I want. Um, height and width, I'll stay with the defaults. Um, call this cosine rule. Give some instructions. Find the length AC. And maybe some instructions after the fact, we can say um, refresh the page to get a new problem. So now my inputs A, B and theta, I would like those to be randomly generated. So I'll put random, random. Random. My outputs Z3 is the answer, and let's just uh, put a label um, like the AC. And I'd like that instead of being plain text, we'll make that show hide button so you don't see the answer up front. Uh, Z0 is A, which is the length BC, so we'll, we will have that in there, but we'll put the label. Um, B, C, Z1 is A, B, we'll put the label in there, A, B, and Z2 is the angle um, A, B, C. Okay, so there's my um, app. If I go and find it, um, uh, we see we've got uh, values of BC and AB generated, in this case both 9. Angle of 82, we could work out what AC is or um, we can get the answer, 11.809. If we press the refresh or if we refresh the web page, we get um, a new uh, problem. And keep doing that, we see we've got a range of new problems.